Narcissism and Mirroring. Hello and welcome. My name is Lisa. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Please go ahead and take a moment to like and subscribe as this helps the channel and this community to grow. Remember when you first met the narcissist? They seem to have the same interests, hobbies, ideals, and values that you did. They seem to be so much like you, like you were two peas in a pod. Of course, later on, you saw they were nothing like you, that you were about as different as night and day. So how is it they, that they seem so in tune with you in the beginning? What's that all about? It's called mirroring. The narcissist does not possess a stable identity, so they mimic you and your identity. And this is done to win you over. They simply reflect back to you what they know you want to hear and what they know you want to see. This is why in the beginning, they actually listen to you. They're studying you. They're figuring you out. They're figuring out what makes you tick, your likes, your dislikes, what makes you happy, what makes you sad, what pushes your buttons, what's important to you. And this helps them fake intimacy since they lack the necessary skills to actually form a genuine connection. This is one of the ways they draw you in. When the narcissist mirrors you, he or she is attempting to manipulate you, to control you, and also to control his or her environment. So depending on the narcissist, he or she may be doing this consciously or unconsciously. Many narcissists are very unaware and so they do this unconsciously, which is one of the reasons they seem so believable. They live in a world of delusion and believe in the fantasy, in the fantasy that they create. Either way, one thing is for sure, it is not about you, nor will it ever be about you. Now, all of us engage in mirroring to some degree, though we too may be unaware of it ourselves. It's very common to adopt another person's energy level, their facial expressions, their body language, or their tone of voice. It reflects that we're understanding and empathizing with another person. It helps that other person to, that we're interacting with to know that they're heard and understood. Narcissists, however, take mirroring to the extreme. Since they have no real sense of self, they look to external sources for self-definition. And this is why it's so easy to believe the narcissist is your soulmate. This is why they at first seem to be everything you could ever want and more. But things are gonna start to go downhill when the mirroring ends. And what causes that mirroring to end is when the narcissist realizes you are not perfect. While they were mirroring you, they were also creating a fantasy for themselves about who you were as a person. And in this idealized fantasy, you were made out to be perfect. But of course, none of us are perfect. And the narcissist who sees their world in black and white, well, they see everything and everyone as either good or bad, perfect or worthless, black or white. And once you fall from the pedestal they placed you on, the devaluation of you begins. And this happens so slowly, you will more than likely not even notice it. Or you may notice that things seem off, are not quite right, but it's just hard to put your finger on exactly what it is and what's happening. Look, life with a narcissist is like being in a circus funhouse, but without the fun. At first you're excited and dazzled, but before long, you're trapped in a grotesque maze of distortion with no exit in sight. So keep in mind that the narcissist mirrored you and all of your wonderful qualities, which caused you to fall in love with them. So did you really fall in love with them or did you fall in love with yourself? Maybe something to think about. 
And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time and may you all have a blessed day.